doing a little bit of breath work. I like to sit up on something. So if you have something to sit up on, you should. And we'll lift the chest off of the abdomen and we'll drop the sit bones down into what we're sitting on. And we'll pull the shoulders back over the hips and the ears back over the shoulders. And we'll just find this alignment. So there's this lengthening happening in the low back. As you point the tailbone down and lift the chest at the same time, the abdominals are doing the work to keep you here. Let's hold this position for a little bit, consciously relaxing the body parts like the hands, the shoulders, the legs, letting them drop heavily onto what you're sitting on. Relax the jaw and the face, the eyes. We can close the eyes and we'll begin to do some breath work today. So inhale, filling up to the count of four. And then exhale to the count of four. Inhale again to the count of four. And exhale to the count of six. And we'll repeat that, four in and six out. One more time, four in and six out. This time we'll inhale for four and then exhale for eight. Again, you're ready. Inhaling again for four. And exhale for eight. Inhale. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time, inhale. Exhale, slowly, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll come back to a comfortable breath. And then we're gonna do a little Kapalabhati. So I know some of you don't practice this often and we did a little bit last week, so we're gonna do a little bit again. We're just gonna stay with the introductory rate at the beginning. And if you have an advanced practice, feel free to take it all the way. Um, but for now, we're just going to have 10 exhale pumps and we'll hold the breath for 30 seconds. So let's inhale halfway. I'll demonstrate what we're doing again in case you weren't here. Exhale, contract the abdomen, push the air out, release the abdomen, air comes in. Exhale, contract. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now, if you're forcing the inhale, you're gonna get a little lightheaded quickly. Exhale is forced, inhale is relaxed. Do it at the pace that works for you. So let's take a half breath in and begin. Exhale, 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 exhale. Exhale, 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 exhale. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. Keeping that tall posture we worked on at the beginning. Inhale fully. Exhale again completely. 
Inhale at three quarter lung capacity breath. So not all the way in, but close. And we'll retain the breath here. fully. Exhale completely. And again, inhale fully. Let it all out. Inhale a half breath and we'll begin another 10 pumps. Exhale, 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 exhale. Exhale, 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 exhale. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. Inhale fully again. And exhale all the way. Inhale, a three-quarter breath, and retain the breath. Close the eyes, relax the body. Exhale. Inhale fully again. And let it out. One more full breath. And release. We're going to do one more round of 10 pumps. Inhale halfway. And exhale. 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 Exhale, 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 continue if you like, otherwise release. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. One more time, filling up. And letting it out. Inhale, three-quarter lung capacity breath, so not all the way in, but close. Inhale. And we'll retain, aiming for 45 seconds, but if you let go earlier, that's fine. Exhale slowly, inhale fully, and release. So we're gonna do a little neck warm up, drop the chin down toward the chest. Take a few deep breaths up in between the shoulder blades. Swing the right ear over the right shoulder. Deep breaths. Keep the jaw relaxed. And 
And then swing the chin down to the chest. Take another deep breath. And then swing the left ear over the left shoulder, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the right side of the neck. Swing the chin to the chest. Inhale, right ear over right shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, left ear over left shoulder. And again. And then come back to center and lift the head up. Inhale, the arms up over the head, lifting up through the arms and the ribs, but dropping down through the sit bones. Draw the navel toward the spine but relax the shoulders. So we're lifting and reaching, but we're not straining. And then we'll bend over to one side. Breathing deeply. Coming back up, bending over to the other side. up bring your hand down to the floor and reach the other one over top like we're trying to make a c shape with the spine so send the ribs out to the side and then rotate the chest up take a deep breath and then rotate the chest down sweep across to the other side bringing up the other arm c shape with the spine send the ribs out and rotate the chest up And rotate down, sweep across one more time to this side, rotate up. And down and across, and rotate up. And then make it back to center and coming up. We're gonna bring the hands behind the back and clasping the forearms or the elbows and then lifting the chest, pulling the shoulders away from the ears, sending the breastbone forward, but at the same time dropping the sit bones and the tailbone down into the mat or what you're sitting on. more breaths. And then release this grip. We're going to interlace the fingers behind the back and stretch the arms up and open the chest. Chin up, deep breaths. Really pull those shoulders away from the ears. And release, hug the self, holding on to shoulder blades if possible and dropping the shoulders again. Just feeling that across the tops of the arms into the shoulders. Warm up the wrists quickly, interlace the fingers, roll the wrists. And stretch the arms out in front, thumbs in, fingers wrapped, roll the wrists. Big circles in one direction, and then circles in the other direction. And then pull all the fingers back on one hand. Deep breaths, including the thumb. Try to get the tips of the fingers in too. And 
and switch. Okay, shake it out. We're gonna come onto our hands and our knees and we're gonna actually start in heart melting pose. We're going to do a little yin and then we'll move into some yang and then we'll come back to yin. It may not be necessary for all of you, but some of us may want a little extra cushioning under the knees. Now heart melting pose is actually quite an awkward and uncomfortable pose. And you may need a pillow or a bolster to help support. So we'll, we'll see if that's necessary. I'll show you how. So from all fours, and bring your elbows down to where your hands are now. And then we'll sink back. And as we sink back, the hips are somewhere over top of the calves, not forward of the knees and not way back here. So somewhere in the middle. And the chest is dropping toward the mat. Now, if you're finding that's way too intense for your shoulders, you might want to have something underneath your chest to keep you from going in too deeply. So the shoulders now, if you want to have a little less uh, pinching, if you're pinching in the shoulders, part the hands wider. If you want to have a little more happening in the underside, then bring the arms closer together. Just experiment with that and see how it goes. And of course, taking deep breaths. Let that chest drop toward the floor. in very deeply and your nose is pressing into the mat, turn your head to the side. Take this deeper, you can bend the elbows, bring the palms together, and prayer pose behind the head. about five more deep breaths.
Release the hands back to the floor. We're gonna come forward into Sphinx. So you're just hinging forward, bring the hips down. If you already have a blanket here, this is comfy for the pelvic and pubic bone. Press down into the shoulders, lift out of the shoulders. So you're pressing down into the arms, into the floor, and then you're also pulling out and then pulling the chest forward. So the chin is reaching forward, but we're not putting a crimp in the neck. So the neck is long. And the feet can be as far apart as necessary for the low back to feel comfortable. One more thing you can do here is tuck the pelvis so that there's a little bit of an elongation through the low back. And again, chest forward, shoulder blades back. Just make sure the elbows are right under the shoulders and not back here. They can be further forward if you like, but not behind. Now, if you want to go deeper, you can bring the hands together and then like lift the chin a little bit more. But remember, we're not trying to create a pinching in the neck. So this action brings the upper back into a deeper bend. This is optional. Deep breaths. And you also can do one more thing to come in deeper, is you can bend the knees and bring the feet towards you. Some of you may even want to push up onto the hands and lift the head. Now, I'm not one of those, but you can. Deep breaths. Three more full breaths. Slowly lower yourself down, make a pillow with the hands, turn the head to the side just for a few breaths. into the back and the belly. And then we'll place the hands on the floor under the shoulders, push up onto the knees, coming into downward dog, lifting the hips, sending the heels down. Swing the hips to the right and the left. Back to center for another breath. And then bring the knees to the floor. We're going to do a little work for the buttocks. So we probably have done this before. We're going to bring the right leg out to the side and lift, lift, lift. Lift, lift as high as you can. Lift, lift, good, breathe. Forget about how it feels, just lift. Good. 
Good. And we're going to hold up as high as we can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now bring the knee behind you and the foot up toward the ceiling. Flex the foot. Kick the ceiling up, up, up. Keep breathing up, up, up. Keep going, kick higher. Few more. Okay, and hold two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it down. And then we'll do the other side. So left leg coming out and lift, 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 lift. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. This side hurts sooner because both sides work even when you lift only one leg. So that's why that sensation's there. Keep going. Good. And we'll hold two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring the knee back and the foot to the ceiling. Up, up. Good. Breathe. Keep kicking. Kick up, 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 keep going, a few more. And hold. And bring it down, come back into child's pose. We'll be here for about a minute, breathing deeply. Okay, we're gonna come through the hands with the chest now. The hands are a little bit wide. The fingers are pointing in slightly. From a, a bit further out than a table, hands forward a little bit more, we're gonna sink the chest down between, let's say we're aiming to have them come between the elbows. If your shoulders are a little bit sore or delicate because of injury, don't come down that far. So we're gonna come down through, inhale up, exhale back. Sweeping down between the hands and up, exhale back. Again, through, inhale up, and back. Again, through, Inhale up. If the shoulders can handle it, dip down lower each time. Exhale back. Inhale through. And up. Back. Two more times. Last one. and then come to lie down on your belly. Turn your head to the side. Take deep breaths. Big toes together, heels apart is the most beneficial for the low back.
Okay, so we're gonna move on. Bring the arms out in front of you. And we're gonna start with the legs. So tuck the pelvis under. So you're decreasing the low back bend. Forehead to the floor. And then we'll lift the right leg up, holding it with a straight knee. And then put it down. Left leg up, keep breathing while you're holding the leg. And bring it down. Inhale, right up. And down. And left. Try not to swing over to the side to make it happen. Even if it's just up here, that's okay. Just lift it up. Bring it down, right leg again. down and left leg and down right arm and down left arm and down right arm again inhale lift down left Right arm again. And down and left. And down. Let's take a few breaths here. and then we'll switch. Keeping the forehead down on the mat, right arm, left leg up. And down. Left arm, right leg up. And down. Right arm, left leg up. And down. Left arm, right leg up. And down. Take a few deep breaths here. And then on your next inhalation, we're going to inhale everything up. Arms, legs, head, chest. Inhale up. And down. Take a few deep breaths. When you're ready, inhale everything up again. And coming down, we're going to push back into child's pose one more time. Breathe into the back. And then we'll come up 
we're going to move into pigeon pose, seeing as it's a pretty good place for us to go from here since we've done butt work. Bring your right knee towards your right wrist. Slide your right foot a little bit closer to your left wrist. And then slide your left leg back. We're going to start upright for a while. If this hip doesn't come down easily, you can always put something under it like a block. Once there's some support, the body is more willing to let go. So this is a thing that you should consider putting if you're feeling like there's a lot of tension there. Try to relax through the hips and let them drop toward the floor. And then also don't try to lean over to one side. Be true to the position. If there's a little bit of space here, that's okay. It just means it's tight and you want to be able to open it up in alignment rather than where there is no alignment. Those of you working on coming into this more deeply, you can always bend the back leg and reach for it like this. And those of you working on your outer edge of your hip a little bit more, you can come down onto the floor or with the block under the arms and just hang out in the forward position. So it just depends on what you want to do today and what your needs are. I think I'm going to hang out in the upright position today. Take a few more breaths in this position. And then we'll push up onto the hands and we'll come back into a downward dog. Bringing that right foot back, lifting the hips, sending the heels down, deep breaths. And then bring the left knee forward, slide the right knee back, and we'll begin upright as we are right now. Breathing deeply, letting the hips drop. Again, you might need to put something under your left hip. If you don't have a block, you can fold a blanket or put a pillow there.
You're welcome to either come down onto your forearms and open up the left outer edge of the hip, or you can bend your back leg, reaching for it with your right arm, and keep the hips square and the chest square forward, breathing deeply. Breathing deeply. Let's take another five deep breaths. Slowly release, come back into a downward dog one more time. Before we finish up with the yang, we're going to do a plank. We're going to hold a plank for a while. Now, if you feel uncomfortable doing it with the hands on the floor, you can come down onto your forearms and breathe here. Draw the navel toward the spine, send the heels away from the crown and push out of the shoulders. more breaths. And then bring the knees down. Sit back on the heels for a moment. Now if that doesn't work out for you, put something between your feet. You want your toes pointing back. So we're in hero's pose. If this doesn't work at all for you, come into child's pose. And we're just here for about a minute, breathing deeply. want you can come back a little bit lift the pelvis tuck it under we'll come back just a little bit just to feel more in the quadriceps
Take five more deep breaths. And then we'll come out. We're going to come to lie down on our backs. We're going to move into twist. My floor is a bit cold, so I'm putting a blanket here for my legs. We're going to come to lie down on our backs. Bring the knees into the chest. Give them a hug. And then lower the legs to the left, opening up the right arm. Turn the head to look toward the right hand if you like to complete the spinal twist. Breathe into the back. want to come in deeper you can wrap the top leg around the bottom leg coming into the twist more deeply if this feels uncomfortable go back to just piling the knees one on top of the other Take three more deep breaths. And then bring the knees back into the chest, give them a hug. And then we'll lower the legs down to the right. Opening up the left arm. And you can turn your gaze toward the left hand if you like, breathing deeply into the back.
If you want to come in deeper, you can wrap that top leg around the bottom leg. Keep breathing fully into the back. Three more deep breaths. And then draw the navel back into the spine, pull the knees to the chest as you roll onto the back. Give your legs a hug. So you have an option to just come into Shavasana, or you can put a block under the pelvis into supported bridge, parting the feet wide, dropping the knees in, taking deep breaths. Make sure the block is not under the low back at all, just the pelvis. Relax the jaw, relax the face, soften the eyes, and stay with the breath. Take five more deep breaths.
bring the knees into the chest, give them a hug. And without putting the feet down, see if you can push your prop out from underneath you and roll to one side. time pushing yourself up, letting your head hang as much as possible. Come to sit in a comfortable seated position. And then we'll finish with three alms. Let's take a deep breath in. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste.